Hello everyone and welcome back to the Bacchus OSL. This is the round of 16 and we're now on the fourth day. Um, and this is going to be group B. So we've got Fantasy Stork, Type B, and Bacco in this group. And today is specifically going to be Fantasy versus Type B. I think it'll be a really great match. I mean a lot of people will probably fa uh, favor Fantasy here. But after we saw what Type B did to best to get to this spot. And also what he did to um, Stork in their recent game. You definitely can't count Type B out. I can't type. <laughs> whatever can't, you said. Can't talk. Whatever you said, I can't talk about Type B. It's a tongue twister. Oh, yeah, say that five times. I'm a big fan of Type B. Uh, I'm jumping on the Type B bus, the Type bus, so to speak. Um, I'm obviously a Zerg player, and uh, Type B has been doing a pretty dang good job, winning some pretty big games, and he is currently 1 0 in the series, looking to pick up a 2 0. As is Fantasy. Fantasy is also 1-0. Fantasy coming off of his win against the Hoback, um, Backhoe. So they're both at 1-0 right now. And uh, looking to pick up a 2-0. Now, speaking of Backhoe, he is currently down two games. He has not won a game yet in his set. Uh, he is going to be going up against Type B. So, you know, we'll see how well Type B plays today. Uh, although, obviously, Backhoe and Type B is going to be a different kind of matchup. But... We've kind of spent 30 minutes calculating it out, and from what we can tell, Backhoe is not necessarily going to lose from this set. It's not the like with Flash, uh, where he would have been gone if Yellow hadn't won. So, um, you know, we're, we're looking forward to a slightly less pressure game for Backhoe. This is going to be on uh, Holy World, which is becoming one of my favorite maps. I think they should just call it Infested, because that's what Zergs do. Okay, that's what Zero does. But, uh... Anyways, this, this always reminds me of like a, a use map settings map, you know, where maybe infestants would spawn out of the command center in the middle of the map or something. I don't know. It's just to me, it's such a weird map to actually use competitively. But so far, it's worked in Zerg's favor, and statistically, it's got one game up against Zerg for Terrence. So we'll see what happens. Well, I think this can be a decent map for Zerg, and especially if the the uh, Terran player doesn't go mech. Um, if you try to do what Hwasen did, by the way, if you haven't seen Hwasen vs. Zero, yes. uh, we casted that game a few days ago, that was day two, definitely go watch um, that game, great game there, and we saw Zero do his classic uh, infested Terran move again, so, oh wow, great picture there, yeah, Scout cool. Reed vs. Mutalist. And you hear a lot of screaming in that game, so. Anyways, th <laughs> this map, it does have the command center that you can infest, you know, I always try to say like say that it's not gonna do anything and matter but it always ends up mattering <laughs> because zero always ends up you know using it he's 2-0 with his infested terran strategy so. um but otherwise i think that this map you know it, it isn't <laughs> i'm making fun of the announcers probably the map has a lot of uh, bases and gas that are easy to hold basically in, in your section of the map so if you just hold one of those four corners um you know you can hold three gases pretty easily so to that effect you would think that terran would have it pretty easy on this map um, especially Terran versus Protoss, I think it is a little more balanced uh, or, or better for Terran. However, in this match, but the one problem is, if you were to go Medic Marine, you wouldn't be able to basically kill any, any of the expansions very easily because all the expansions are blocked by like mineral walls and just right. hard to get to. You'd, you know, you've got two expansions basically behind your base that are just easy to kind of protect. Um, but one thing we have seen on this map is we've seen players sneak vultures through those mineral lines, and so that right. could be definitely something um, that we could see Fancy do. So honestly, I, I think that starting off with at least a little bit of mech and a, a few vultures um, would be a good idea on this map. And judging by Fantasy's past, that's probably exactly what he's going to do. I would right. Think. Fantasy likes vultures. He likes harassing and dropships and all that. I'm not saying... I, I wouldn't expect to see dropships here, um, but uh, you know we might because he is getting a quick factory. We might see him trying to tech up and get a starport real quick. Um, not a quick factory. Fairly command standard. Center. Or wait, command center. I'm sorry. Was I... Yes, I was looking at the wrong thing. I'm sorry. He's getting his barracks and he's getting a command center. He's expanding quickly now. Um, there was a 12 hatch going down by Type B, uh, although just because Zerg expands doesn't always mean it's perfect for Terran to expand. But uh, if he did want to expand, this would be it. Uh, we didn't see like a 9 pull or any sort of cheese or anything like that from Type B. So Fantasy right now is doing okay. He has a fine, fine looking wall in there. Uh, which these players, if you didn't know, I mean, they study Wallens specifically for the maps. Um, Steve actually was taking pictures, screenshots of Wallens that he was doing when we were playing against each other, which is why he's been owning me lately. Um, but uh, they study, man. 
Oh, the haircut. That is Dude. so true. The true StarCraft English skill science. lies in the haircut. I'm loving this. And I don't know who has a, a better haircut between Type B and Fantasy. I, I would say Fantasy. But you know what? I think Quasin had a better haircut against Zero, and that didn't work much for him. <laughs> um, and we do see, though, um, it looks like Fantasy just transferring SCVs. So it looks like he is probably going to go stand at standard uh medic marine here though since wow. he's got a quick command center i didn't actually i haven't seen fantasy's base in a while but i'm assuming because he got a quick command center he's going medic marine type b in the other hand is going for a two hatch build he's already got his lair as you can see there going up on his um base so he's definitely gonna be trying to tech up quickly and put some pressure on early and we've been seeing actually just a lot of two hatch builds oh this scv is gonna get in though and see this that's terrible for uh type b um not doing a good job stopping the scv now fantasy's gonna see the lair see exactly what's going on now i mean he doesn't know that there's not a third hatchery there could be a third hatchery you know behind the base so he doesn't know that for sure um but judging by the timing of the lair he, he should be able to duck, duck that yeah. and there's a spire so we're gonna see very fast um mutas and this could be really bad for fantasy um because he has fast expanded he's gonna have to get turrets down as fast as he can um, and he's probably not gonna have very much anti air. We've seen so this is actually why Flash is 0-2 right now um, Because Flash did the same thing where he fast expanded and got a command center and then Yellow and then Jadong both went this two hatch Muta and Mutas were there so fast that Flash despite trying to valiantly hold it off Just didn't have enough to hold it off and it looks like fantasy has opted to get a star port up um, So he's probably gonna have wraiths out um, but but otherwise he's gonna have Wraith and a small medic marine force It looks like one vulture is gonna go out to harass. There's a third hatchery going up in a sneaky location up at the top um, But but most likely we're gonna see Muta, Muta's out really fast here And we'll just have to see if fantasy's prepared for that. I'm really disappointed Type B didn't block his ramp there. I was assuming he was going to make the Spire in the uh, second in the expansion. All he had to do was block that ramp and not let the SC SCV escape. But the SCV just escaped and is going all the way 